Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about these days uh, since uh, July 19, we are hearing that the most common issues for all the Windows endpoints is crowd strike issue impacting Windows endpoints. The specific to the error is it's causing 0 50 or 0 cross 7e error message on your blue screen. So in short form, we can also call it as BSOD issues for all Windows clients. BSOD means blue screen of death issue. So I will clear quickly explain you the issue summary and resolution step. Okay. So here is the issue summary. So Microsoft identified an issue impacting Windows endpoints. So here endpoints means it includes the desktops, laptops, servers, and also the virtual machine, which is running with Windows operating system. And specifically running with the CrowdStrike Falcon agent. This is a one of the endpoint production software similar to the antivirus software. And this software, usually they release the updates daily basis. As similar as the same update, it released on July 19th, but somehow with the July 19 update, it got affected to the all Windows machines, but it's not affected to the Mac and Linux operating system. Only Windows machines got affected and it's encounter with a blue screen of death BSOD issues. That error message is like a zero cross 50 and some are like a zero cross 70 messages. And the behavior of these machines are affected devices may enter a continual restart state. The restart is will be like this. Suppose if it is, I took one sample screenshot, 20% complete blue screen error, but even once we restart also, again, it keep coming to the same screen. So I will show you how, what is a common resolution step when we face this kind of issue. And before discussing about resolution steps, let's understand what is a customer facing scenario, how the customers are reporting. Some customers have successfully recovered by adopting multiple restart operations on affected Windows endpoints. And this is how it is restart, uh, restart helps is. The reason is even the CrowdStrike, uh, they officially released the article. They says that whoever the systems logged in or online on July 19, it got affected. But if the systems are updated with the latest CrowdStrike software, from July 20th, all these systems will fix automatically by restart. But the still, what are all the systems are affected on July 19th, some systems may still have a blue screen of death or blue screen issue. That systems we have to address our side, okay? So we are working with CloudStrike to provide most up-to-date information available. I'm sharing what is the current information as of today, okay? So here is the resolution step. So resolution steps, it starts with a, when we have a blue screen issue, anyhow, it we cannot do any troubleshooting step. So the first step we have to start with a turn off device and or how we can turn off is hold the power button for 10 seconds to turn off your device. So this device can be a Windows desktop or Windows laptop or it is a server. And this server can be run it on a, any of the virtualization platform. It can be run it on VMware vSphere, or it can be on Microsoft Hyper-V, or it can be on a Nutanix AHV virtual machine. But any scenario, for virtual machine scenario, you can right-click the virtual machine power reset option. But for your laptops and desktops, we have to press the power button, okay? So press the power button again to turn on your device and once the, the device is restarted, we have to choose a safe mode option. But how we can choose the safe mode is on the Windows sign-in sign screen, press and hold the shift key while selecting the power to restart. So after device restart, we have to choose an option for troubleshoot. And within a troubleshoot, we have to go to the advanced option. Under the advanced option, we have to choose the startup settings. And within a startup setting, we have to enable safe mode. And while enabling the safe mode within the startup settings, we have three options. We can enable either, we can press the key for number four key to enable safe mode, that is option one. And option two, you can press five, enable safe mode with networking, and press six, enable safe mode with command prompt. Within these three options, you can choose any one option, either four, five, or six, it will 
same procedure to troubleshoot okay once you select this a safe mode option and click on restart device once the device is restarted it will go into a safe mode prompt okay and the continue resolution steps in the following slide open the command prompt or once in a safe mode right click start run cmd open the command box and within a command prompt we have to switch to the system drive that system drive first go to the c drive and then we have to navigate to the crowd strike directory that path is like a cd that means change directory to c drive windows system 32 drivers the path is crowd strike path once you type this path press enter and for the actual problematic file is you have to type the command directory space c colon which we have to enter 50291 start dot c press enter once we type this command the problematic time your problematic file if you want to delete the command is same delete space the actual file path and press enter once it is deleted to validate the file is still exist or not we can also manually search with this file name within our c drive c hyphen zero two nine one star dot c if you find any of the other location you can just delete them once the deletion is completed restart your device the device can be a desktop or laptop the same troubleshooting steps even os flavor is either it is a windows 10 or windows 11 or server os windows 2000 series like 2016 2019 and 2022 all have a same procedure but only thing we have to remember is we have to delete this file from a safe mode prompt if the system doesn't affected with a blue screen of death till if you have a this file with a july 19th file we have to delete if the file is updated with July 20 or July 21, we no need to delete because July 20th file and 21st and today's date file, all files are up to date. So CrowdStrike says that the latest files are no impact. Only impact this file is on if the system is running with the July 19th file only. Okay. Hope you understand the troubleshooting step and same steps applicable for even the virtual environment also. You can, in order to reset the virtual machine, just right click the vm reset and you can press f8 to go to the safe mode prompt and then deletion prompt either you can use command prompt to delete or you can use directly go to the c drive windows system 32 manually you can delete from the graphical mode any method you can follow okay either command method or graphical method but our ultimate goal is we have to delete this problematic file 291 started sys once you restart, our system will be reboot normally. There will be no blue screen of that issue. And make sure that our CrowdStrike directory, this file must be up to date with the latest file after restart. Okay. Hope you understand the issue summary and resolution steps. Thank you. That's it for today. Bye for now.